Hello guys, Jada Vitipa here, and we're back in Stardew Valley. Um, if you look over here to the right, you can see that I definitely am suffering from a little bit of energy deprivation because I went to bed after one o'clock. Ooh, why is my mic so freaking low? Okay. Um, what are we doing today? What are we? What are we? What are we doing? We need to meet the wizard still, which it's only day four, so I don't really know what we're going to do. Um, on the right side, the bean sprout, or we can go to Pierre's and buy the bean sprout, hopefully, because he should be open today. Weather is going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. It's a little weird. Usually it rains a little bit more in the spring, but... And the spirits say they're in good humor today. So maybe foraging will go pretty well, because, of course, that's what we'll be doing today. Living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. And we haven't done that for a few days, so we should probably do that. This is what we did the first day when I went out and, like, just looked for a bunch of spring onions. So, nothing is ready to actually be picked of course and I'm worried about scarecrows because they come and like eat your crops and I can't even make a scare did I say scarecrows I meant crows I'm worried about crows <laughs> whoops waste of energy <laughs> that we don't have on the bright side oh my goodness I really need to be playing with the controller I don't know why I'm not playing with the controller I'm just too lazy to bother about getting one before I start recording I guess Alright, and let's see, I think we need this so I'm going to put it in my fridge because I, I don't have a fridge. I keep saying I'm going to put it in my fridge and then I have to remind myself that I don't have one of those yet. Alright, in there and we'll just plant these seeds. Also I think I just realized, um... I think I just realized why the volume is so loud in my ear. I haven't turned it down um, since the last time I was playing. And usually, actually, when I record, I have the volume turned down to, like, one. Because it's just so loud in my ears for some reason. And I also haven't really figured out how to adjust the volume in Stardew. Minus while I'm recording. Like, I can adjust the volume that you guys hear. But it doesn't really adjust it so much for what I hear. Because... Like I said, one is still super loud. Alright, I don't remember if it, it was the daffodils I think I was missing for the spring seeds, wasn't it? Anyway, back to my story about complaining about the crows. I don't know if they show up before you can build the scarecrow. Alright. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Because I know Lu Lewis's birthday is the first. Um. I, I, mmm. I don't remember if we can catch catfish in the spring. Well, we're gonna accept this quest and we're gonna, I guess, try. The thing, the tricky thing about, why am I holding onto this? The tricky thing about catfish is that, make sure there's no one around. The tricky thing about catfish is that like, okay, we can buy seeds. Um, it has to be raining and they're river fish. I remember that much. We'll do four, because that will be all of our monies. And we'll go plant these, and then we'll go foraging again. Let's go and head and talk to Maru. Okay. Nice chatting with you, Maru. <laughs> um, we'll plant these, and then we'll go forage down below our farm. And on the bright side, um, if the first four parts of it... I didn't realize I could do that by scrolling. Learn something new. Okay. If you would plant. If you would. Okay. Well, now that's awkward. Alright, good. So, I think I have to be farming level 2 before I can make the scarecrow. So. Okay, and I don't need all this stuff, obviously, in my chest. So, let's see when we're level 2 if I can even benefit or not. 
and one day when it's raining, which will hopefully be in the next couple of days because the task is going to end if I don't do it in the next couple of days. But hopefully um, it'll rain and maybe I can catch some catfish in the river. Let me clean up some of this mess. Hello, Froggy. Did I ruin your life? Oops. And obviously you can collect this stuff down here too in case you collect everything from your farm. It's nice to be able to chop trees from other people's like land, I guess. I don't really know if anyone owns this. Maybe Maru and Leia own it. Let me go down here. Oh yeah, you can check the trees too and get seeds. And I think, yeah, oh, never mind. I thought you could plant the seeds anywhere. I don't know why that's not a feature. Because I don't want all those trees growing on my farm sometimes. Oh, there were more spring onions. Thank goodness for the tip reminding me. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize it was like all the way down here. Oh my goodness, guys, you got 14. Wow. And we got a gold and silver, which I'm obviously going to sell. Oh, real quick. Yeah, it does increase your energy, but I'm still going to sell the gold and silver because I have 14 plain ones that will help me with energy if I need it. And just still kind of on the lookout for things. Anything that may be of use. Um, I could go fishing. But like I said, we're not going to catch a catfish unless it's raining anyway. So either way, it doesn't really matter. Let's see. So. Now is the awkward part where I don't really know what to talk about while we just randomly wander around here. I hope you guys had a good day today. I had a decent day. Oh, hey, let's talk to her. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. Okay, obviously she does not want to talk to us, and we're ruining her. Uh, we're ruining her life. <laughs> I guess we'll plant this maple seed somewhere. Like I said, though, I don't really. With the trees, I kind of just end up chopping them down again anyway. When you can make tappers, it'll come in handy. The tappers, like I said, will get, um, like, if you put a tapper on the pine tree, you get tar. On a maple tree, you get syrup. And then on an oak tree, you get, I think it's resin. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Alright, sell these. And put this away. And right now, I don't really need it. I'll just hang on to this cola if I completely run out of energy. We're not mining, so energy shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, get out. Get out the way. That. That. And that. <sighs> I'm so used to having a magnet ring. <sighs> Let's see. Let's just keep looking for some forageables. Hopefully we can get our fort. That scroll kind of freaks me out, to be completely honest with you guys. Also, oh, huh? I didn't realize this was blocked up. I thought I could go there immediately. Well, I'm kind of glad I didn't run out of energy and try to go up there. Yay, horseradish. Do you want something from me? Yeah, here, take. This is a great gift, thank you. Like I said, still haven't figured out anything that Linus doesn't like. I mean, he's just kind of grateful about everything. He's a super awesome guy. Um, I don't really know if there will be anything to forge over here. But uh, we can look anyway. Oh no, wait. There isn't actually anything to forge. I'm just going to waste another day walking around. Can't wait till I get my forging up a little bit. Finally! I haven't seen any of these worms in like 
forever. Yeah, he's still doing his thing, so obviously we can't go there. So, guys, I'm kind of thinking about, uh, Woo and Sebastian. I like... I mean, I tried to woo him earlier before I married Elliot, so I feel like Sebastian's definitely my second choice, so... How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. <laughs> He's a scientist, so he likes to study plants. He's very fond of uh, the nature. Does he like parsnips, I wonder? Is that, like, code for him saying that, hey, I like parsnips, bring me some parsnips? Oh, yay, daffodils. And they don't bring you any energy, so they're not really... Okay, yeah, we can't talk to her anymore. She's done with our conversations that we're not having. Yay, daffodils are everywhere. So I can make a few of the seeds and I can even plant some and then probably um, sell whatever else I don't want. Cause I've, for the most part, I've kept everything I've collected. Also a great way to increase forging. I don't know why, but I thought that was something I could collect little playground here is cute and there's usually some stuff you can kind of I'm not seeing anything right now um well I would say let's go to the beach but uh I also don't have oh, I don't have any space so maybe we go get space and then we go to the beach cutting down trees is good for your foraging skills so that's probably what I need to be doing instead of actually just wandering around getting stuff because I don't really know if that helps much or if it's strictly cutting trees. I should probably look into that. Um, I wasn't selling anything. I don't know what I was doing. Like I said, all this stuff is going to come in handy. Lo oh, I only have one leak. So, yeah. I'm going to have to wait for that anyway. I always click on that. Always, for some reason. There we go. And we'll plant those. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't sell. Um, since it's too late anyway, we'll plant them when we get back from our little 4G forge. Better idea. Axe. And, um, until it gets, like, dark and the creatures start coming out. Because you guys know I don't want to fight the creatures. So, uh, we'll do this. And I think I see some worms right there. More clay. Clay is always something I've had a, a huge hard time getting for some reason. So I am actually very grateful for this. Lots of wood here. Is that not something I can collect? That's just a... <laughs> that's just a singular rock there for aesthetic purposes. Alright, we're about to run out of energy. So this will probably end up being the last one that I uh, cut. And on the bright side, uh, let's do something with this. Here, here's good. Get rid of this stuff and go to the beach. And by the time we get home, it'll probably be a little bit later. <sighs> Alright, not getting that fiber butt, but it's okay. <laughs> I will do that a hundred times, I kid you guys not. And it is going to upset you as much as it upsets me. The mic's still bothering me. Sorry if you hear like a lot of weird uh what what's the the word? Like muffled punchy sounds, I guess. Because I'm trying to get it situated right the way I like it. But don't wanna work. Don't wanna work. Unfortunately we can't talk to Elliot because I'm pretty sure he's already in uh his bed by now. Yeah, it's like nine twenty. There might not be anything on the beach to collect anyway, which will I mean, pretty upset. I don't think we're going to catch a catfish, guys, now that I think about it, because it said that tomorrow was going to be a pretty day, didn't it? Which means that, uh, yeah. I don't see anything. Oh, but I do see this. There's better than nothing. Ooh, and I got a book. So I don't think we ever... You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. I don't think we actually went to the um 
library because Gunther's not really a character you guys can meet and I haven't gotten anything to give him yet. But now we can go to the library and that's where the, the books go that you collect and they give you cool tips and kind of parts of the story and stuff that you need to uh, figure out what's going on. Alright, we will be doing... Mm, mm, we will be doing this uh, because you can collect a lot more stuff over there and you actually need to have this complete in order to get married because you have to give your sweetheart a mermaid amulet and the mermaid amulet can only be sold by the ancient mariner yes he's supposedly a ghost or something and he sells his mermaid amulet on the other side so make we gotta make sure that we do that and I don't mind doing it early like super early it's usually like one of the first things I get done because um like I said there's like a lot more stuff that you can collect on that side of the beach anyway there's usually all kinds of junk and stuff that you can get so we're gonna sell this oyster because um well Actually, there's a fish bundle, I think. <gasps> Guys, did you see him? Because I didn't see him. So, let's get our seeds out. And, um, it's 11.20. We're going to go to bed. I won't be energy deprived for once. Um, and I feel like this was a super short part and we didn't totally do anything at all. But, I don't want to be energy deprived again. So we got 20 gold, so 10 gold a piece for the silver spring onions, and then the gold one was only worth 2 cents more. But we, we're, we're slowly getting gold. It's a very slow process. I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> um, and we didn't level up foraging, which sucks a little bit. I'm going to actually probably do a little bit more research and see what's... Because like I said, this is foraging, so it should build up the foraging skill, but I think chopping down trees does like a whole lot more. But don't worry, next part, next day, will be the 5th, which means we should be able to go to the community center and start working on our bundles and... Guys, I ruined it. We technically already had the foraging bundle complete, and then I um, used it to make seeds. But don't worry, all we need is a leak, and I should be able to find that, and then... For crops, that of course will take a little bit longer time, and then we'll work on the fishing and stuff. Um, I'll have to make a list of fish that you can only catch in the spring because that's what slowed me down a lot in the fishing bundles because a lot of the time, like, even though I spent all my time fishing, I was, like, selling fish and stuff and I forgot to keep checking and see what I needed for the bundles and I didn't do what I was supposed to do. So, I'm going to make a list. That way I can kind of say, because, like I said, I don't want to fish until, like, winter really now. And I don't want to waste all my time fishing when I need to be, like, foraging and farming. Because that's what cut into my funds a lot, I think. Even though you can make a ton of money fishing. Like, don't get me wrong. You can make a ton of money fishing. But I want to wait to do that for winter. So I want to kind of have an idea and a mindset of what I need to get immediately. That way I can fish for whatever that stuff is. And then focus on farming and uh, mining and all the other jazz. So, if you like this part, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to watch me play more Stardew. So, um, I will see you guys on day five. Bye!